Squint no more. Mastering squinting modifiers. Hello there, English language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to dig into a fascinating aspect of grammar. Squinting modifiers. Often overlooked, these tricky components can cause a fair bit of confusion. But fear not. By the end of this video, you'll understand what they are, how they create ambiguity, and most importantly, how to correct squinting modifier errors. Let's embark on this grammar adventure. Before we can correct an error, we first need to understand what it is. A squinting modifier is a type of ambiguity error that occurs when a modifier in a sentence could logically refer to either the phrase before it or after it. The term, squinting, is used because it's like the modifier is squinting, unable to decide which phrase it's supposed to be modifying. Let's look at an example. Reading quickly improves comprehension. Here, quickly, is the squinting modifier because it's unclear whether, quickly, is modifying, reading, suggesting that reading in a rapid manner improves comprehension, or, improves comprehension, suggesting that quick improvement in comprehension comes from reading. Confusing, isn't it? Now, let's learn how to spot these squinting modifiers in the wild. They're typically adverbs placed between two phrases, and they make it unclear what exactly is being modified. In general, if you can reasonably interpret a sentence in two different ways because of a middle modifier, you've spotted a squinting modifier. They're sneaky, but with practice, you'll get the hang of identifying them. Armed with the knowledge of what squinting modifiers are and how to identify them, Let's move on to the main event, correcting squinting modifier errors. Strategy 1. Rearrange the sentence. This can often clear up the confusion. Using our previous example, we could say, quickly reading improves comprehension, making it clear that it's the quick reading that improves comprehension. Strategy 2. Use punctuation. Sometimes, a well-placed comma can make all the difference. For example, reading quickly improves comprehension. In this sentence, it's clear that quickly modifies reading. Strategy 3. Rephrase the sentence. When all else fails, rephrase. Try to rewrite the sentence in a way that entirely avoids the ambiguity. For instance, when you read quickly, it improves comprehension. Congratulations! You've just journeyed through the world of squinting modifiers and emerged victorious. We've learned what they are, how to spot them, and the strategies to correct squinting modifier errors. Keep practicing, and you'll be squinting at modifiers no more. Remember, mastering a language is a journey filled with small steps. This is one of them. Until our next grammar adventure, keep exploring, and happy learning.